Right, I've worked it out that we need roughly 3 mil per side. Well, not roughly, it is 3 mil. I think we'll slow things down quite a bit with this cutter. Do this side first, so we'll touch it off. Set the zero. We need to be going into the cutter. That's point two of a mil, see what that feels like. We'll do more than that. Try a half a mil. Right, we'll put some cut and float onto it. As you put more cut on, it cuts deeper because it's on a taper, so you're cutting more material. Back that off. on a much broader area interrupted cut as well Slides in and then a lock when the wedges come down. You basically take it out of there now, deburr it and give it a try. And try it on and unfortunately I've taken slightly too much of it. That's not locking out there, that's the the bottom of the wedge hitting the bottom of the tool post so I have taken too much out of the slot it's got it but it hasn't got it by the knack as it's not it's not solid so basically I'll have to build this face up oh bastard I put some silicon bronze on that face remachine it and then we should be good to go you're only talking like a funny's head very little I just took slightly too much out See how slack that is on the, the wedges there. And then the standard tool holder is a lot, a lot tighter, a lot tighter. And that's locking in. And then the one I used to normally use, which is a, the one I made myself, that's tighter as well. So I have, in fact, made a mess of it. But I'm sure I'll be able to pull myself out the shade by putting some pads of silicon bronze on there and then remachining it bastard I'll use silicon bronze because if I was to put steel on there it'll probably make some sort of horrible hard alloy that's impossible to weld rather impossible to machine it's a little bit annoying but it's not the end of the world not quite I buffed the surface up with a grinder and the idea is I'm going to lay some silicon bronze on here you don't actually melt the base metal, it's a bit like brazen uh, if you melt the base metal you end up with some horrible alloy that you can't machine I'm going to, have to try and get some decent arc shots how I weld this, I will show the setting I'm using but I'm basically welding it on straight DC A little bit of warmth in the wood first and the brass should start to 
Once it starts to flow, right like you've got the temperature right. So I'm not melting the base metal, I'm just laying the bronze on top of it. Put plenty on. Get a little bit warm there. Back off a little bit. I'm using the pedal so I can back this off. Very controllable. Lovely stable DC off. Right, so it's built that pile of bronze up quite nicely. We'll be able to fly cut that now and get it to get it to fit. That's the wire they use, the silicon bronze wire. It's used a lot for it's the model equivalent to brazen, uh, the build high end, bike frames with those go card frames are all silicon bronze together. Looks really nice when it's done properly. See I'm just building up, it's not a and I built that pad there up as well. That one's been a little bit too warm compared to that one. That's because I'm with a camera on the way. But I'm sure it'll machine all right. Right. Not quite, not quite, it's nearly there but not quite, we'll take another two tenths of a mill off it and go from there. That's better. Great, so that's locking off with loads and loads to spare. Happy at that. It's built up quite nicely. I'm just going to put a chamfer tool in and just knock all the nasty corners off. But that's good, well, you know, good build up on there. It makes a good wearing service as well for a bear in this stuff. It's a, a very useful material to have at hand. And you can see I haven't put much on there. If you look if that's 15 thou. But it's like machine, the taper, any taper. A little bit off the tape and it goes on a long way. I'm quite happy with that. I sort of pulled myself out the shade once again. I think it makes a better video if I show you what I've done wrong instead of just 
making it all perfect because it's far from perfect in my world I'll tell you Burr on there, the wall's not now. You got plenty of goods in there like that, and that top clamp is what keeps it held in. All in them holes won't do any harm because the screws are actually rusty when I come to screw them out. This is a, a banggood tool that I've had for ages, a uh, cheap and cherry thing, but they do the job. Right, that holds a blade in like that. Well clamped in, that's four, four clamping bolts. I'm going to try and utilise that one to make a depth stop or a height. A hate stop for it. Right. We'll set the tool on centre hate first and then see exactly what we've got to play with. Well, it's a massive difference how far that is. Away from the centre compared to what it was, much much better. Right, I'll we'll just use the centre to set the, the height of it up. Best way to get spot on is to machine a piece of bar, but that's basically on centre height there. So if I put a piece of stud and nail the nut on to clamp that down, then I can use that piece of stud and to form something that'll rest on here that's going to hold it on centre height. That hasn't clamped that in, that bastard. This is not very good. I haven't spent all this time for nothing. John, this, this fucking job's doing my head in. Right. That's something I never thought of. That's not clamping the blade. Oh, John, man. When will it end? You just assume they're the same height, don't you? But they're not. I think it's an easy fix, man, but it's certainly putting up a fight, this bastard thing. I think it's when it's a job for yourself, this is what always happens. Just to me anyway, other people's jobs seem to work great, but anything for yourself always goes to shit. Right. So I think basically, if I take something off there, it's going to allow it to clamp. That's just got to go down that little bit further. Yep. If I take a little bit off there, it won't take much. The blade's actually level with that, and the blade wants to be below it, uh, above it. I think half a mil will do. Right, once again, to the milling machine. This is the Vivo vice that I did a review on quite some time ago. I use it all the time now, but it really has been a, a nice bit of kit. Nothing the matter with it. When you think how much it cost. 
It didn't cost me anything. But I think they're only 70 quid. Okay, so we've got that by the balls. A bit off there. This milling machine wants trimming. It's basically only cutting on one side of that tool. It's working more like a fly cutter than a face mill, so I'll have to see if we're getting that done. Dodge hand drill once again. Run with the first time I'm afraid. Right, so now hopefully that should be the end of the bastard thing and it should clamp the blade which I think it will this time, it's got no choice I mean you run a top down those holes, right that yeah, should be alright Right, so it's gripping the blade now quite nicely. And we've still got a little bit left to go. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching. If you haven't clicked subscribe, please do. Anyway, see you on the next one.